Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about how to add some color to your wardrobe and spruce up your suit game. When you start buying suits for the first time, they, everyone tells you, you know, you'll go charcoal gray, black, blue, navy. Those are your standard suits. And you know, some guys, once they get there, that's all they stick to and they just get more navy, more gray, more black. And you know, sometimes you gotta add some color. But we would definitely recommend you gotta get at least those three suits before you add any sort of bold color. I remember the first suit I ever bought, it was like chalk stripe, black and white, bold as hell, like could never wear it on multiple occasions because it's that kind of no, suit. No, you're right. So my first suit was very, very bold and I actually only wore it one time before I got a blue, gray, and a black suit. Exactly. So get those three first and then you could, you could transition to an outfit like this. Right. Have a little fun, you know, go something outside your comfort zone. That's Pretty much my goal for this year is to get more fun suits. So as you can see, I'm having a little bit of fun here. I mean, that's a lot of fun. But one thing to know is how George and I accessorized it, how we toned it down, how we left, you know, all the focus on the suit, but not on what, like, what else we're pairing it with. Exactly, don't, don't go bold suit like purple peak lapel, double breasted, and then like a loud gingham shirt and a loud tie and a bold pocket square. You gotta keep, you gotta keep everything subtle when you wear a bold suit or else you're just gonna look like like a patchwork quilt. Yeah, I mean, even going bold could be going with bold with texture. So even if you're wearing a linen or, or a uh, wool suit, it could be super, super bold if it's, if it's uh, that furry texture, I guess you could call it. But um, again, stick with simple, simple ties, no tie, or even just classic white pocket square. Exactly, guys. And these, I mean, these suits right here are actually from Indochino, made to measure. They fit us like a glove. I have honestly nothing but good things to say about Indochino. And I mean, how was your experience? Yeah, Indochino was great because you actually got to customize every aspect of your suit. I went ahead and I added like some side tabs, nice thick cuff. I did uh, peak lapels, right. nice and wide. So you could make it like super customized to your liking. I mean, as you can see, Blake and I have the same peak lapels, except mine's double-breasted, his single-breasted. He went with cuffs on the pants, I went with no cuffs. And you know, everything's a little custom. You get to pick the buttons, you get to pick working buttonholes, if you want contrast stitching, what you want underneath. And it's all very, very reasonably priced for how well this fits. Yeah, and, and you know guys, another side note, I, I wish you could see George's shirt. It's actually like a pink shirt, but to the eye, it looks very white and like clean. But dude, it's sick. sick. Also, also Indochino, and they, you know, let you do the French cuffs or whatever cuffs, whatever collar. It's all completely custom. So, guys, you got to be careful so you don't get a go overboard. But I mean, even on the inside here, I went with. Uh, I try to keep the purple theme going. If you didn't notice, but I went with the. Uh, oh, nice. Purple polka dots. Nice. I, you know what? I, I went with a little bit of a uh, burgundy, so I went darker. Another thing to consider is not necessarily your skin tone, but like the undertone of your skin tone. So like, for instance, like I have like a pink undertone. Yeah. So if I wear like a purple or lavender, I'll tend to look a lot, like very orange. Yes. So I try to go with a little darker boldness, I guess you could say, if that makes sense. Yes, and I, I am very white in the winter, but I get very, very tan in the summer. So this is planning on being a spring summer suit, obviously not much fall winter going on in bright purple, but but you know what, dude? I think also think that the beard really adds to like, you know, George can really go outside the box because he has a beard. You know, it's gonna it's gonna look pretty rad, unlike me. <laughs> but yeah, guys. So I mean, when you're going bold, just make sure that you keep everything else subtle and you make good decisions when you're putting your suit together. If you're going made to measure or custom, don't go way too overboard. Don't get contrasting everything and. <laughs> It's just gonna be too much. If you're gonna go with a bold pattern, you gotta make sure that's what makes the statement, guys. So that pretty much wraps up our video on how to go bold with your suits. Uh, hope you like this video. Comment below whether you like uh, this suit or this suit, because obviously you like this one, <laughs> especially if you live in the South, I would assume. Yeah, Yes. definitely. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram, at Jens Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge, and uh, stay tuned for our next video. Thanks, guys.